Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be about uh, my children's names and why I chose them. So if you are curious then please keep watching. As you know I'm part of Channel Mum and we have like topics that we all do videos on every month and it's just designed to get us all talking really. You might remember that a couple of weeks back the UK's top baby names were announced and that is what's prompted us to all get talking about why we've called our kids what we've called them what decisions led to you know why we called them what we did um whether or not we bickered over choosing names and things like that and what our kiddos were going to be called if they were the opposite sex so i'm going to start with william now william is actually william james but a lot of people always say like is he william or is he bill now it's probably not the most traditional nickname for William, but Bill is actually a nickname for William. It's like a derivative of William. Um, I actually have a cousin called Will William, and he is Will or Wills. Um, so when William has his nickname, Bill just felt like the right fit. And there are a few reasons why he has the name that he has. So William was actually the name of his dad's uh, grandfather. Um, now, obviously, I'm not with his dad anymore. But at the time, that meant a lot to him to carry on like a family name. And I was really, really fond of the name anyway. I thought it was really, really traditional and it had deeper meanings for me as well obviously I didn't know um his grandfather so I couldn't really attach to it in that way but if you know me like personally or even I've mentioned it on here a few times I'm a massive massive lover of musicals I actually almost like pursued musical theatre um, instead of going on to do journalism and I can sing and no I probably won't ever do a video on here because I'm not sure I had the guts to do that but I've done lots of shows I've had like lead roles and things like that I am um, I've done like lots of shows for charity and things like that and it's a massive passion of mine but sadly I just don't do it anymore because I've got kids and it takes a lot of time doing like rehearsals and things like that so when I was a little girl, my grandparents were um, obsessed with Rodgers and Hammerstein um, classics, like the musicals, and they had them all on video, and it was particularly my gramps that loved them. And when I was a little girl, I would love Disney movies like any child did, but I would always request to watch these as well. So you might know like Sound of Music, Oklahoma, Carousel, Showboat, there's quite a few of them, and I've seen them all. And one of my favourites was Carousel and the main character in that is called Billy Bigelow and he's a bit of a rogue, a lovable rogue and he makes some mistakes in his life but there's a song in that called My Boy Bill where he starts to sing about the realisation that his like, you know, Julie, his girlfriend is pregnant and like he starts imagining a son and then he actually thinks halfway through or whatever it's a little girl but it's called My Boy Bill and I absolutely love it and there were just other links to that musical as well which were really weird Um, there's a, sing a song in that called June is busting out all over and he was born in June and then there's also a song called When the Children Are Asleep and it's about a couple like daydreaming about their future, about when the kids are asleep and they'll sit and dream and they'll still be in love like they are today and it's it's lovely. So when I think of Bill I call him my little carousel baby. Um, oh and another song is You'll Never Walk Alone and that is obviously a lovely, lovely song but his dad actually supports Liverpool and that's Liverpool's like anthem like song that they sing um so it just felt like that was the right name for him and then james is the name of my younger brother and i wanted to have a family tie in that respect i love the name james and i love my brother i also love my dad but my dad's name's sean and i'm not as keen on the name sean <laughs> for like a modern child like dad i love you and i love your name but not for my babies i don't think same way with like my mum my mum's called karen and i would definitely not give the name karen to a daughter either for that reason um but it just felt right and he's william james or bill james and um, some people in the family call him billy but for me he's little bill and it really suits him i don't know if you've like 
I don't you don't know him but you've seen clips and he, he's just my cute little Bill and I love him now moving on to Daisy um with Daisy I was convinced that um Daisy was a boy I really was convinced so I was very focused on boys names for a long time um but I also had a girl's name that I really 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 wanted to use and that name was Nell now um one of my favorite books is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee but Harper Lee's name is actually Nell Harper Harper Lee, but she chose Harper Lee because it sounded, I believe this is what I've read, it sounded more masculine and obviously there weren't as many female authors back then that were doing it as well. So um, that for me was just a beautiful name. I saw it and I heard it and I just fell in love with it and I like to spell it N-E-L-L-E. And it's always been the name that I wanted for a long time. If I said I was ever lucky enough to have a daughter, that is what I would like to call her. And I pitched it to Mark when we touched on the idea of having a daughter and I pitched it to him again when we found out we were having a daughter and he hated it. He loathed it. He said that people would call her Nelly the elephant and I was like, well, why? Because she's not an elephant. And he was like, well, you know, kids are cruel. Um, but he just did not like it. He was like, no, I'm not calling her that. If I told my friends and family that I called my baby Nelly, they'd laugh at me. And I was like, that's so unfair, that's not true, I just missed it all. But people get really sensitive about names, don't they? Now, when it came to her name, we went back and forth. I, fifth, I we went back and forth. Now, I like the name Robin, but um, Mark was worried that boys, when she was a teenager, would call her Robin Redbreast. And I was like, how do you come up with this stuff? And he's like, I'm a boy. I know how boys' minds work. Um, and there were quite a few names that we went back and forth on. We just could not agree. And um, then we were chatting about it one day, and we used to drive to work sometimes. Um, if William was with his dad, we would drive into to work because we get home a little bit later and we didn't have to get back for a certain time and it would save us money because trains to Manchester are flipping extortionate and we were in this car and we would always drive past on the way home this old like mill over this big building and I think it's since been knocked down because Mark sent me a link going oh no it's, it's not down we'll never see it again but it always had on the side of it Daisy and Mark didn't call his daughter after a building don't think that but he'd like he'd seen the name anyway when he'd been thinking about it and he really liked the name daisy and he, he saw it while we were driving and he was like oh that's the name that i wanted to ask you about what about daisy and i was like you know what i actually quite like that and then there were just some weird coincidences that kept like popping up like she was born um she was due in april and the flower for april is the daisy and daisy is a symbol of spring um like and we used to say to william when he asked when his baby sister would come in we'd always say oh she's coming with spring she's coming with the baby lambs and all the flowers and the daisies and the daffodils and things like that and it kind of stuck so it'll always remind me of like being pregnant and going like oh you know she'll be coming with spring and it just suits her and obviously my favorite color is um yellow and I love that it was like a yellow like has a little yellow heart and like tiny white petals and I used to make daisy chains as a kid and I love the flower and some people say it's a weed but I just think they're so pretty and like seeing little thatches of them pop up on the grass I just love them and I remember when I was pregnant um my dad would always feel really bad about mowing his lawn and mowing the daisies up so it just it just felt right and then I was like right if you're picking a first name then I want Nell as the middle name and he relented so I got my Daisy Nell so we've got William James and Daisy Nell now we do have a plan in the future to have one more baby and if we are lucky enough I, I really hope we are we'd be completely blessed but we're also lucky enough to have one of each now so we don't really know um obviously whether we're sort of team boy or team girl like what we prefer because it doesn't really matter in that sense and I don't think it would matter anyway sorry this one just woke up so I'm gonna try and pick up where I was left off <laughs> um now if Daisy was a boy then we were probably going to call you Max can you imagine being a Max ah no can you imagine having a Willy 
Ugh, yuck. That's gross, isn't it? That's gross. <laughs> um, yeah, she was going to be Max, which is probably a little bit weird for those of you that have like read my blog or know me because um i do used to have a dog called max but we just really liked the name and we thought it, that she would be max james if she was a boy hi darling thanks for coughing in my face thanks for coughing in my face she'd be chubby wubby thing and then if bill was a girl he was going to be ava um i think it was probably going to be ava marie um but he wasn't a girl so <laughs> there we go i just really like the name ava but i'm not sure that i would ever use that for future children because it's really popular now and it's not like i don't like the name anymore it's just that there's a lot of avas isn't there mind you there's a lot of williams in all honesty and there's a few daisies i think but I don't know, it's quite a personal choice, isn't it? And like, people get really like, arsy over names and get really precious over them. Do you mind growling? You are so silly. You are so silly. Um, but I'm, I'm one of those people, it's like, I don't really care what you call your kids as long as you're happy with the name and you love your kids and that's all that matters. But, um, yeah, that's why my babies are called what they are called. Hi. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. Um, so let me know why you chose your baby's names and what they are and like whether or not it was just a name you liked or you had a reason behind it um, and whether or not you found it really hard because honestly thank you um, next time I have like no ideas for names at all boys or girls like I'm completely fresh out of names so It'd be interesting to see what we come up with in a year or so's time, won't it? Hey? Hey? <laughs> Bless. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go with this one and put some baked potatoes in the oven for tea and enjoy the rest of my evening. So yeah, I will see you next time.